Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film 18 and a half. And this is a what do you think happened to those 18 and a half minutes that were supposedly erased from the Nixon tapes back in the Watergate era that were so incriminating but supposedly they accidentally got erased and they were never found. This movie takes the position that a stenographer uh, who was transposing or trans transacting the tapes, transcribing, that was the word I was looking for, that she discovered that one of the tapes that was about something else had those 18 and a half minutes. And then what did she do with them and, and you know, etc. It's just, it's all what if. But it's kind of a wild and crazy movie because it goes over the top in saying, you know, what if she had met with a reporter and what if the reporter uh, had taken her uh, to somewhere so they could listen to the tape together and what if there were people around them who knew about the tapes and were trying to get them back and what if they were in danger. It's a what if movie. It goes all the way. But it just goes too much over the top. The, the best thing about the movie is the performance of Willa Fitzgerald. She plays the, the stenographer, or transcriber, or what, whatever you want to call it. She was also the lead actress in the TV series Reacher last year. She played a policewoman, and she was fantastic in that. And she is the bright spot in this, although there are a lot of solid actors in it. In addition to her, there's John Magaro, Richard Kind, Vandy Curtis Hall, and Catherine Curtin. And they all do a good job, but it's just a little bit too over the top. The film is rated PG-13 because there is profanity, there is violence. I couldn't even get it up to average. It, it just got a little bit too absurd, so I scored it 4 out of 10. So if you've always wondered what were the possibilities of what was on those tapes and where did those tapes go, this gives you a possible alternate scenario. But it's just, like I said, a little bit too wild, a little bit too chaotic, and it was disappointing. I expected it was going to be better than it was. Four out of ten for me. But this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film 18 and a half.